Oh yeah, you're in the studio with the live local artists and today we are in a snowy landscape somewhere in Fort Worth, Texas. <sighs> that in the background is the uh, TCC campus and right here I've begun a little a little sketch of this uh, this nice meadow, the snow covered meadow. There's a pond frozen over there and way off in the distance you can see the campus and uh, on the ground before us we have predominantly a composition made up of uh, white really just a whole lot of white so we're gonna get ready to lay down a whole lot of white and then the uh, the sharp contrast of the trees and the thicket the wooded areas and those come stabbing through the white like broken shards of glass and we're going to uh, maybe capture a little bit of these scratchy wintery uh, branches here you can see on on my uh, canvas here I'm just letting all that come in ooze it's just like trickling down from every everywhere around it's like the whole landscape is coming out down through and finally from the branches oozing down onto my canvas here and we have the inferences of the tree I haven't touched the sky yet but then we have also the wooded lot and the sloped meadow in the background there we are looking for a pallet did we bring a pallet <gasps> we didn't bring a pallet I didn't bring a pallet uh, even my reinforcement you see Francine was at home they're probably in the car and I called her because I forgot my titanium white how am I gonna forget my titanium white and, your mic. Uh, and my mic and, and, and my water and my, water, and my palette and my <laughs> thank you Francine what would I do without you and and she was like saying well you can't go very far because uh, she, she noticed the last time I was painting out in the snow that I wasn't using gloves and I I had to explain to her that it's because when uh, I'm wearing those those knitted gloves holding the brush at the knitted garment and uh, it just creates too much dif distance between me and the the brush that I'm using so uh, she came up with the idea she gave me some uh, vinyl gloves to put over and it, they fit really tight so they're holding everything in place it's great I'm able to paint with gloves I'm gonna be out here like 10% longer maybe 20% longer because of Francine's invention here and I'm telling you it's an art glove and it's only 95. <laughs> you can that's right that. we'll send you the art glove it turns any uh, dollar store knitted glove <laughs> into painters gloves this is like uh, this is the thing. This yeah, is the so she wants me to use the uh, the palette that actually came with my Cezanne easel here. You're holding this for a rainy day, and here it is, a snowy day. I know, I was holding it back for a rainy <laughs> day, but day. It's, a, it's a snowy day. Thanks, Francine, for bringing stuff out to me when I need it. My pleasure. Uh, we are standing on the slope of the frozen tundra in North Texas, and uh, we're... Oh, that ice. <laughs> yeah. that okay. So let's see. Well, we're we're probably gonna have to put the timer on for 20 minutes because I can't take it. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> you got Francie, 20 minutes. You brought me some paint rag. I did. Oh, that bottle of water just wants to stay on the floor. <laughs> we'll let it. Just like Father Kurtzinger said, everything belongs on the floor. <laughs> Gravity does what it does. And there's just no stopping it. And I wanted to see if it would look better with the light. In the snow? Uh, yeah. But you can go ahead and start painting at any oh, time. Really? See, this thing was my table back here, Francine. That's why I don't use it. It's always my table. Well, there's a lid to a salsa jar. Exactly. You are. You see? Very nice <laughs> think of light, Francine. That was my uh, my I second choice down there, and I was like, mm -hmm. survivalist. 
I'm going to paint on a salsa Sur lid today. Survival painting methods. <laughs> so who forgot the lid? Did you forget? I mean, the, the palette. Just from I mean, the moving. car. Huh? Just from the oh, car. Oh, the car. Because Andres said he wanted everything in there. Oh. So, um, and I believe that because he did so good, you know, I'm not even paint stuff these as a uh, paint wax. All right, so now with my brand new palette, I'm going to squeeze out a little Elizabeth Crimson. It's pretty uh, bright out here. All the snow is fucking light everywhere. Yeah, this is what she did. Get one last shade. I gotta get some uh, Flex Sienna on this palette. Flex Sienna. I forgot the phone adapter for that thing. Mm. Can you hear us okay? Does oh, anybody hear us? Your new test one, two. Running out. Come on, baby. Look, I can even flick out a fine hair using these gloves. I could never do that with regular gloves without the uh, Francine Sestida fix it. Glove 2000. It's glove 2000. Oh, I just got snow in my gloves. Oh, it wouldn't have happened if you were wearing these. I know. It wouldn't I know. have happened. I should have, got, I should have, I should have gotten myself a pair. Oh, no dear. Oh, dear. Alright, All right. so we I got uh, this yellow ochre mix, and we're going to put some so that's not working. little shrubs down right here. A little, little line of shrubs that we feed off of here. We're going to do some uh, fresh sienna to that. So, let's go. We're going to drop that in. Catch up. It's top of the lake of dried up frozen grass. Okay. I am going to go ahead and put your speaker on. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get my. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do you want it double extended or just the same? I think it's same. Double. I'm, better for me. Well, huh? it's gonna take a, You're not going too far. I'm not going too far. Just like this. Yeah. Hey, Oscar. What's up, Oscar? Morning, We're about to get a headset going on in here. Hi. So good to see y'all. This place is fun. We're gonna have fun in the snow. Go ahead, Francine. How's everybody doing? Good to see you. What's up, Oscar? We're gonna Let's see if we can get the mic up for juiciness. Let's see. Get the Okay, let us know if we have Hey, how's it going? Oscar, can you hear me? How are you doing, Oscar? Audio. I hope you're doing safe. Are you staying warm? Yeah, Good buddy. Yippee. Awesome. Everybody, Oscar Quesada. Quesada. Check out his art. One of Dallas's finest. He's making and shaking. He's making it and shaking it. Laying the paint on thick. And often. And that's what, what I like. We're going to put some uh, sap green down over here. Oh, come on, sap green. Put some branches in right here. My tree, my clump of trees is kind of, I'm having to readjust it because I wanted this horizon line extended just a little bit. I'm putting down some really fantastic and bright colors right now because once I start adding the white, it'll probably mix into 
into most of it. I don't really plan on limiting the the spark, the flow once I start putting that white down. I'm going to do something a little different. I'm reserving the white. See, when I came out here earlier, I realized I forgot my white. And then I said, well, I'm going to start painting anyways. I'm not going to just stand around here waiting for Francine to bring me my white. I'm going to start painting. And I'll just use the canvas, the primer of the canvas for my white. And so I got a pretty good uh, development on as far as the underdrawing goes. I got a good start in that time before the white arrived. And somewhere along the way, I thought, well, maybe I was meant to, you know, maybe I'd need to just use the white last. And that's what I am kind of doing now. And well, then I tell myself, well, now that the white's here, I can put it in any time, which I can, you know. But now I'm a, I am uh, actually attempting to draw more and leave the white out until until later as long as I can anyways this is the uh, the building the campus building way off in the background you have to zoom in to get that one and uh, I'm I like the way it sits like on the on the horizon it's like a cat lounging against a garden wall or on the top of a garden wall among the among the vegetation frightfully beautiful it could be up and ready for action before you even know it was standing there one moment of sleep, next one moment in your face. So now I'm bringing that, that landscape on into the foreground and blending that up a little bit right here, right at the tops of those burnt wisps of grass. We're gonna let that just kind of dissolve down into. Okay, let me go to the house. Okay. I'm gonna go get the. You're out of here, Francine. I'll be right back. I need to get another glove. Mine has snow in it. Oh, okay. Well, but that's recording a lot. Oh, was I standing in the way of that? Sorry yeah. about that. I, I think I was standing in a horrible place. You guys got to see my backside. How's everybody doing? I'll bring you in for a better look. I'm over here all yapping, thinking that you could see what I could see. I apologize. You know, I just need to strap a camera to the tip of my brush so that you guys can see what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'll be right back. Bye, Francine. Thanks. We'll see you in a bit. Everybody's waving at you. Okay. So, how's everybody keeping warm? Anybody working on anything special out there? Did you get to start any art? Show me. Show me. Francine made me a hot tea. So if you hear me gulping, it's because I'm gulping. It helps keep me warm. All right, so key to look, take a moment to step back and review your, your art. You got some good colors going on there. You know, I think they'll become more muted as I go. And uh, we're going to do, we're going to do that gray sky. You get a little sample of that gray sky right there. I'll back up so you can see that. That's what I'm looking at there. Okay, finding the best view for you. That's what I do. That's what I'm all about. Bringing you la vista artistica. Oh, something fell. We'll find out. Oh, it's that canvas. I brought this canvas. I'll show you. I brought this canvas with me. Painted it at the Highland Park Village. It's the, the fountain. Some steps in the back. If I get to it, I'm painting over, I'm painting over it today. It has come to the chopping block, my friends. You are witnessing the end, perhaps, of a painting. But this is the first, the first part of all that. And uh, in order for me to get there, I need to put down some... Uh, I see some cobalt blue in the sky. We're going to do that. 
squeeze a little bit out here for my tube like that uh, uh, the reason I do this you you're asking why does he do that honey I don't think he's supposed to be doing that you're right I didn't put my lids back on and and then I just gotta you know it's like an oil bar I love painting with oil bars if you, if you hear me Sennelier send me some oil bars I like the Sennelier oil bars the best. Hi, my name is Gerald Sestada. I'm a live local artist and sometimes you might see me on the side of the road painting. When I get into town, my favorite oil bars to paint with is Sennelier. Sennelier. That was my best Rocky impersonation. Rocky doing commercials. If you haven't seen Rocky, you haven't seen nothing. You need to go watch Rocky, kid. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. I'm brushing that sky in. Ooh, that's a little dark. A little Velasquez-esque. Maybe a little El Greco. We're just going to go ahead and paint it all the way through like that. Okay, just go ahead and... Let that sky do its thing. And brush that. That cobalt blue. No, I don't. I don't recommend you paint like that. You don't. You shouldn't. It's gonna. It's very frustrating to to allow your your paints to get that skin on it and then just use them the way I do. You, you wouldn't like it. That's the only way. That's the only way I know. But you know, some people don't like to get paint on their easel and I don't recommend you you go down this road of uh, carefree painting because it might it might make you it might make you do things you don't think you would you could see yourself doing right now mm-hmm that's right like walking a mile in the snow to get to this spot that you've seen on the side of the road a dozen times and you're like I'm gonna paint that why? I don't know. Okay, so here I am. All right, nobody's complaining. We're all just having a good time here. We just spent a lot of time scrubbing on that sky. Now we're kind of finding our place back on the horizon here with our building and our drawing and uh, letting that color on the end of the brush with some mineral spirits mix in. We're gonna let that mix in and create an edge. We're painting away the white of the primer. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying to paint away all the paint. I want to paint it away. That's right. And I'm gonna leave the building in the background a little bit kind of mysterious like we could be looking at a, a, a castle an ancient castle I hear the coyotes in the background Ooh, it's so scary coyotes oh my goodness they're coming for you We've got some tree branches over here in the front and then we got some we got a wooded lot just a little bit over there to the right and then we got this this beautiful contour of a little meadow sloping around off into the back there. How's everybody doing? Thanks for tuning in. I'm Gerald Sestida, the live local artist. I'm painting on the side of the road in Fort Worth. You're saying, hey, this doesn't look like a snowy scene. It doesn't yet, but look at me. I'm surrounded by snow. I can't help but put that snow in. It's gonna happen. Give it a minute. I'm just building up my paint scheme because I want the snow to to come down like a blanket on my painting on the uh, on the underdrawing. This is as close to an underdrawing as I get, folks. I just go for it, you know. I'm gonna step back, sip this tea. Wait for more people to join. Share on your feed, folks. Let people know. Hey, this guy paints. 
and he paints pretty good. All right, what other color can we add in here? White, white, did somebody say white? Wait a minute. You can wait on that white. Don't be so obvious with your paint. That's like an embankment right there. It's a wall. Somebody spent somebody spent 400 hours on that wall right there. That's a lot of work. You ain't lying. Try doing that in the middle of summertime in Texas with mosquitoes. Mosquitoes everywhere. You need a generator to get through that. I bet you there's a lot of people out there thinking about them generators now, huh? Hmm. Well, I hope everybody makes it on the other side of this all right. Yeah. Be good to each other. So I'm out here enjoying this beautiful landscape. We don't get much of the snow stuff around here, so I'm just going for it. I saw some cactus covered in snow. What a beautiful juxtapose. That was nice. Bunny tracks followed closely behind by coyote tracks. The cat and mouse game. Hmm. Looks like Mount San Michel. Let's get you a little better view here. All right, here comes the white. You want the white? You think you're big time? Where's that white at? Where's that white at? I know I got some. What? I can't find my white. Wait a minute. This isn't funny, y'all. Where's the white? <laughs> I'm laughing about it. I'm killing myself right now. I know I had the white. It's not here. Wait a second. Take a deep breath. Don't go crazy, Gerald. You got white somewhere. It's a big tube. I can't lose a big tube of white. Where's my white? Sorry, folks. We're experiencing a little technical. Dip. Look, see, everything's falling apart now. I can't handle it. Where's my white? Yeah, getting myself. Sorry, I'm out now. I'm all tangled up in my wire. Everything's just going crazy here. I reach for the white and look at this. It's still not. I know I got the white from Francine at the car. She was here. We talked about it. <laughs> Fred. Francine, if you're listening, I forgot. I can't find my white. I know you're at home. <laughs> Warm. <laughs> I might have left it in the car. I thought I put it in my pocket. Maybe I dropped it somewhere along the way. Oh, man. Where's that white at? It's got to be around here somewhere. It's got to be around here somewhere. Can't believe it. All right, folks. <laughs> Where's that white? Oscar, I lost my white. <laughs> you brought me some white one time, Oscar. Remember that? I was out painting in Oak Cliff and I pleaded out for white. And <laughs> Oscar drove. That brought me some white. That was amazing. Thanks, brother. Oh, man. Francine, I lost. I can't find my white. I'm sorry. All right. We're going to have to improvise once again without white. What am I going to do? I got to think this through. Okay. I lost the white. I'm sorry. I'm freaking out about it. I, I lost my white, and I've just got to get over this because the painting must go on, right? Oh man, we're gonna continue to draw. Then we're gonna slide back over to drawing. I believe 
I'll see Francine in a bit and I'll tell her I lost my white. She'll laugh and then she'll get me some more white. Or, or she'll bring it with her. I don't know. Somewhere there's a tube of white out there without a name on it. Gently squeezed. That would be mine. Bring it home. Response to the name. White. Response to the brush. To the little subtle tickles of the brush. Oh, wipey wipes. Folks, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them. I love to read them and I respond back. Sometimes I have uh, some assistants working the, the digits on the other side and they can respond to them. They'll ask me the question and I'll give you an answer. You can hear it in real time or we'll type it back to you on the comments section if you've got to go. Uh, we love to, to converse and share tips and secrets with you. I am Gerald Sestida the live local artist. I paint everywhere, anywhere. The world is my studio, so everywhere is local. Right now, I'm on the side of the road in Fort Worth, making a painting with the TCC campus way down in the background. And I lost my white, so I had no white to paint the snow that I came out here to paint. And, uh, I'm making do. This is me making do with no white at a snowy painting. <laughs> Take that awkward silence. I'm just going to draw. I told you I would draw. That is what I would do. Green. I'm putting some green down on my palette. Why? because I want darker color and I'm mixing and I'm trying to stay away from that I'm trying to stay away from that Prussian blue see I was starting to think to myself oh I can pull out that white anytime uh uh no you're gonna get the landscape down and then you're gonna add the white okay that was a plan where right? I didn't we talk about that I was going to get the landscape down and then I was going to add the white at the very end as uh, like it like it exists. I mean like reality, right? The the first existed the landscape last week, a month ago, 2 years ago, whenever, however, ever, you know. And then came the snow later. I'm going to do that. That's kind of what I'm doing, you know. Mimicking life art mimicking life in this instance and sometimes you get the life mimicking art so there we go back to the brush stroke back to the brush strokes i hope that uh oh some comments comments yes gerald is uh he's painting now he's under a painting this is what this is yes that's right exactly like that <laughs> mineral spirits and paper towel i do that a lot i've got this handy dandy paint rag there responding to laura hi laura thanks for tuning in <laughs> i know i forgot the the titanium that's me i do that all the time let's see here i'm gonna brush away some more color let's get some more white back over here and I think this is going to make a better painting in the long run because then I get to really focus on the different values of white I put down for the snow at the end. Because I see all sorts of color in the snow. I see a lizard and crimson. I see yellow ochre, Van Dyke brown. I see a burnt sienna. I see some uh, very minute smears of cadmiums. Definitely some uh, greens, some sap green. All the shades of yellow. Yum, 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 yum. It's like uh, being in a taffy store. You know that uh, it's just not good, but it is so good. You know what's up. Okay, so 
back to the very far away landscape. I want to capture some of that distant snow also. Way on that ridge that slopes towards the Marine Creek Lake. <laughs> and we're brushing in some tree shadows way back there in the back. And all this without any white. Just a little smears and smears and smears and smears. And then some footprints in the snow. Oh, they're following a certain path. All right, it's the contour of the earth right through here. Let's blast some of this color away right there because that just like is happening further away from us. And I just let that spirit flow all over your canvas and down. It's doing gravity things. A little flinging of that brush. That's a fence line right there. Fence line. Brambles and bushes and the the place of higher learning in the back. Mm-hmm. I'm holding my breath and painting. Just because you got to stay in that zone. And if you... Gotta stay in that zone. Can't talk too much because I'll forget what I was doing. Painting the college campus way off in the back. I think of El Greco's painting of Toledo. Oh, I love the distance in that. The way he captured the light on the distant landscape. Nice. I'm all right. Step back. Be happy. Dance around in the snow. Wave at the people passing by because, hey, it's a good day after all. He just drove by. I saw him. He, mount, he mounted to me. Where's your white? Why aren't you using any white? I know. I know, bro. I can't believe it. I forgot my white. So here we are painting this <laughs> really bright colored painting in the middle of this uh, white uh, landscape. And I know uh, everybody who sees this driving by is like, why is he doing this? Where's the white? Where's the white? So uh, what I'm going to do now, because I know I had the white. I put it in my pocket. I'm going to take a walk. And you can watch me take this walk, okay? I'm gonna put this here. You're gonna see me go off way, you're gonna see me walk way off into, look at that, you see that? <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Look, my finger, That those fingers have grown. I mean, it's like this new invention, the artist hand. It's like, uh, I don't know, words can't describe it. But I'm gonna walk this path all the way down, all the way, all the way. Well, over there where Francine parked because that's where she handed me the titanium white. So, uh, brothers and sisters listening to me right now, explain to those who come in a little late why I'm not painting because they're going to be asking, where's the artist? Well, he had to go look for, he's looking for his titanium white. That's the story here, folks. So, bear with me. I wish I had some uh, background music to play for you. I would. Going for my walk now. I'll be back.
<sighs> well, I'm back. I didn't see my titanium white anywhere while I was out there. Thanks for bearing with me, everybody. We are painting in Fort Worth, uh, this beautiful meadow, and we are experiencing uh, one of an artist's greatest nightmares. I'm ready for the titanium white, and I can't find it. I had forgotten it, and I made a special phone call. Francine was good enough to bring me the titanium white, and uh, she I know she gave it to me. And somewhere between the time she gave it to me to the time that I needed it, it was gone. So we're improvising. We're kind of finding out different ways to get white onto the the canvas. So I'm using mineral spirits, and I'm wiping away. Yeah, it's it's effective. You know, <laughs> I wish I had my white. Hi. Oh, thank you. All right. Yeah. Somebody loves it. How do you love it? You barely even saw it. You didn't even make it all the way around. How can you see it? Should I, should I tell them that? Should I, next time? Somebody's like, ah, uh, automated response. Ah, uh, automated response. Ah, automated response. It was kind of her to stop by. Really, you know, it inspires me to just keep on going. Just try, try, try again. You're going to get there, kid. You're doing good. Oh. All right, maybe I've got a shriveled up, used up titanium white down up in here. I know I do. It's just going to have to be... See, ah, there it is, folks. Got to get in there. Look at this. All right, here we are. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. It's do or die, man. It's do or die. I needed that titanium white. I waited. I didn't. Didn't get it. Ah, ah. Let me wrap this. All right, here we are. Folks, can you hear me all right? Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. Anybody? Anybody out there giving me a thumbs up? Can you hear me? How's it going out there, my friends? So, the, you know, the current dilemma right now is no titanium white, even though I already made a special call to the studio and they brought me out some titanium white. I found this shriveled up, dried up tube of titanium white deep in the recesses of my paint bag and now we about to get it on but it's so dried up in here look at that there ain't no white coming out of there so do you guys remember the scene in empire strikes back where luke luke is lo is out there and he's frozen in the in the frozen planet of hoth and his buddy han solo comes to his rescue and he slices open that tauntaun so luke can get that titanium white so he can finish that painting he went out there to do yes our tauntaun our sacrificial lamb it's amazing how the tauntauns kind of look like uh, a lamb yeah that's it babies that's it, baby artists out there trying to wonder how, how can I do it like he do it? That's how I do it. They're splitting it open. Splitting it. Just like that. See, look at all that juicy white in there. Just below the skin of hardened titanium. That's it. My friends, I have white again. And I also have... A knife. We're going to use a knife to apply our first sheet of ice. Icy white. And just dig it right in there. Get a big scoop of that. Because you earned it. Ha <laughs> ha You deserve it. Oh yeah. Now this is right here on the ridge. Just a big glopping meadow. Oh. Partially dried titanium white mixing in with Oh
Oh, can you feel that? I can feel it, ladies and gentlemen. His exhaust was all over me. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Sparkly white. Nice. Look at that. Now we're getting... Now we're getting into town. I should have told Francine. Francine, if you can hear me, bring another canvas! Bring another canvas! I know. I'm sorry, Francine. I do that to you all the time. Forget forget the canvas. Forget the canvas. Just get on over here, Francine. I can't wait to see you. Alright, there's some white. Let's get some more white over here. Right over here. I'm going to blend that around like that. Yeah, I just kind of paint with whatever... I like painting with knives. I don't do it all the time. Because, uh, you know, you got to go get them. They're, you know. And then I don't feel like I clean them very good. And so, uh, and then I use them for Bondo work. Uh, just like, you know, whatever. So if it's around, I'll use it. Today it was around. It was right there. I was looking for white. Looking for white in all the wrong places. And then uh, I was, uh... When I f knew, you know what it was? This is how it went down in my vista, right? Talking to you, uh, just made that, wa that walk, thinking about where, oh, where can my little white be? And then I caught the back end of this knife just poking out. And I said, I would, if I had white, I would apply it with a knife. And then, uh, then I said, then something told me, well, I bet you down at the bottom, you might find a flattened white. I had an image of the last tube of white that I was using, which is this tube. Uh, and how it was really flat, and I just threw it down at the bottom, and I was like, for a rainy day. It's got some white in it. I'm not going to throw it away. I'm not even going to take it out of the bag. Because you never know. You just never know. One day... And today was the day. This tube of white has been with me for so long. And now we're coming to the end of it. It gave itself up for the final way. You know, it, 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 first it lost its, its lid and began to dry out and became more increasingly difficult to, to spill out onto my palate until finally less and less of it existed and it's been squeezed in every way possible. And then... On this final day, and this with this once-in-a-lifetime painting, it gives itself up so beautifully. It opens itself up, the bowels of its inside lined with titanium white for me. For me. Not for me. For you. For all of us. Look at all this beauty that, and years of enjoyment that we'll get from it. Right? And that's just... That's just the first snow. Step back. Look at your painting. Let's see what we've done. You've done a whole lot of yapping. Now do a little... Consternating. Do a little consternating. There's a slope right here. It's got some snow on it. Getting that. All right. Well, well, well. What do you got there? It could be anything, really. It doesn't feel like snow, Sestida. All right, all right. Doesn't feel cold. It doesn't feel cold. You're lacking that breath of chill, that whew, that Arctic blast. To too, uh, too sunny. There's not that much sun in this picture today, my friend. Take it back. Oh, what are you doing with that burnt sienna up front, dude? Get rid of it. It was on the tip of my top. All right, stepping back, looking at the way this is working out. We have, hmm, we have a fence over there. But don't do the fence yet. Lay the fence down on top of 
the brambles in the background. Background bam, brambles coming up. Background brambles coming up. Got the background bramble blues. I got the background bramble blues. Yeah, because nobody cares about the background brambles. But you got to put them in so that the foreground brambles are as poignant as you want. Oh, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on now. Let's do a little thing like that first. Let's put this down like that. All the way across. You, you know there's a lake over there. Maybe we get some water peeking through the background brambles, which will cause us a little, little glimpse of highlight in there. More than likely, no. Then scratch that surface with your palette knife, creating the feel of clusters of brambles all grown, overgrown, all over each other, just sticking you every single which way from left whenever you're walking through them. Oh, ouch. Ooh, oh. Nice, all right. You know, one other color I've left off my palette intentionally has been the uh, Thalo Blue. Thalo Blue, Prussian Blue, and basically all the different shades of blue. I've left them off because, because they, they just seemed so obvious. And today was at least a, a beginning exercise in being less obvious with my my paint approach. And by forgetting the white twice, I think that was pretty unobvious. And uh, slicing open the found tube of titanium, that was pretty good. And then now, uh, leaving off that blue for the right time, I think we're getting there. Getting to a little bit of a... You got thickness on that. That's white there. It, it could be sand. In my opinion, it could be sand. Huh. I don't feel cold at all. Hmm. All right. You asked for it, wise guy. I'm going to add some orange to my palette first. Before I go with the blues, I'm adding the orange. I'm taking it deeper into the warm colors. Remember my palette from the very beginning? Remember? Remember my palette from the very beginning? It was all warm hues. It was cadmium yellow light. It was alizarin crimson. It was van dyke brown. It was uh, sap green. Yay! Did I leave it in the car? What did I do with that? I think one's in the car. Okay. Know, Thanks, thing. Francine. Okay. Francine to the rescue. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at that titanium white. I we got. Uh, I don't think I'm going to change my socks out here. Right. Thanks, though, Francine. Um, Appreciate it. Appreciate it, Francine. Um, Only you would think of that. My what? It's actually a hot. It's it's actually like a hotty toddy coffee. Hmm. Hotty. Coffee. You already drink all of it. Well, I didn't know if you would ever make it back, Francine. I was on the verge of <laughs> hypothermia. <laughs> Had to keep I warm. Alright, and then I do have some... I don't think I have to have paint rags. Yeah, you got the paint rags. We got that down. And I have a... Okay, you got that right. I oh, yeah, thanks. They were in the car. They were in the front seat. Yeah. Let me go get that. Uh, alright. I haven't brought more cameras. Oh, you heard that. So you're not going to paint over that white... Look, it's already right there. There's your fountain. Yeah, I could do it. I was going to paint over it. If oh. you... But yeah, I was just getting too overexcited, you know. Look at that kid. What's the burnt orange in there for? Well, it's brick. Brick and mortar. Brick and mortar orange going on in the background. Just the dirt of years of service to the community. Francine. What a savior. Thank you, Francine. Saved the day. You saved the art universe, Francine. 
with that incredible reach around. Way to go. The best. And Oh, hey, for Lamina. I shoved her out the door. Good. Made her just get in the car. Nice. But she won't get out. <laughs> oh, well, you tried. She will. She'll come out. Uh, yeah. So here's some paper plates for you. Thanks, babe. Freeze. And here's some mineral spirit. Yay. No, hope it won't ruin it. Hmm. Because, you know, it's a wound. It's funny you should bring the mineral spirits, Francine. I wouldn't have thought to bring the mineral spirits, but then, sure enough, I would probably spill my, my jar of min mineral spirits. Well, that's what uh, Andres said you need a mineral spirit. Hmm. Oh, it's looking good. I'm liking it. Does it feel cold to you, Francine? Yeah, it does. It definitely feels cold. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the painting, silly. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. does. It definitely has some cold feel. All right, dead branches. Dead That's branches. what we need. Dead branches. Dead. More. It's too summery. It's too. I call them like the fingers. The yeah, the gnarly fingers of the winter. Yeah. Yes. That's right. I always love the way they look in winter. So do I. Maybe not that cool, but they look cool. Plus the dense sky, the sky that's full of so much just moisture. Yeah. Grayness. It reminds me, I was out here painting, and I was thinking of that painting that I made, The Cowboy in the Winter Landscape. Those paintings, that was a, what a beautiful series that was, inspired by Frederick Remington, Charles Russell, one of those two cats. But yeah, now they're in a private collection up in Chicago. And, uh, and I'm glad that they found a, a loving home. And so I wanted to paint a, a equally chilling sky today. Yeah. And I held out on the, the cold tones. Everything I've been doing up to this point, until this very point here, has been warm tones. And now I'm starting to add the cooler values and I can see the dramatic change that it has instantly on the canvas there. Kind of feels more like, like distance. I can hear some people having fun in the snow. Mm-hmm. It is a beautiful day, despite the cold. It's gorgeous. It's so quiet. There's something about the snow that just shoots everything. Just, just commands a oh. Right, it's just that the silent roar of the silent roar of a snow laden field. The hush. Yeah, I'm liking the way that background is falling away. Alrighty, some of those, uh, the highlights of the snow peeking through, and now, ladies and gentlemen, 
the moment you've all been waiting for. The introduction to the palette of that color. Oh, that color. Which shade of blue will it be today? Prussian blue, ladies and gentlemen. We're squeaking out a little Prussian blue for for that chill factor. And then we're going to squeeze out some titanium white. Thanks for joining me today. I hope everybody's having a good time staying warm. It becomes increasingly difficult the longer we go, but I understand we're going to start a warming trend here, and I know we're all looking forward to getting warm again. And uh, uh, keep an eye on your pipes as things start to thaw out. And remember, if you get any sheetrock damage due to frozen pipes, I can help you out. And you can help me out. I'm the live local artist, your buddy. And I'm mixing some Prussian blue with some white there to get that that feeling of coldness into this scene here. We're going to see how this works here. Add some of that here. Smear it around like that, like the wind is blown. And then off into the distance and little patches in the woods. We've got some some of that also. Then we're going to take some of that brownish color that mixes with it. And then we're going to swoop it around this way coming along the embankment. Just kind of let the sunlight dance off that. Way off in the field. We're going to add some shadowy snow. Way coming down. The like that. That terraced landscape. Frozen. We need a couple more peaks of snow right through here. Let's get some more of this white to come around this bush here. And then we got big bush there. We're gonna brush that snow, snow driven. <laughs> My whole canvas moved. All right, layer upon layer of color coming together here to make our wintry, icy landscape. Green, some sap green. We're going to mix that with some of that pr uh, Prussian blue. Right over here. You're on the uh, the Bluetooth. I can hear you in the car. Oh, okay. Uh, so we got this mix over here. I'm going to pick up some yellow. Just kind of brown that up. Let's do this alizarin crimson. And putting that down on this paper plate. All these paper plates, y'all. Cheapest palettes. They work. At least for me, they do. Some people don't like to get paint on their palettes. Some just some uh, shadows. I'm just randomly putting them in there. Yeah. Gray, they come out more gray than intense color because of all the white that was on my knife before. I'm just mixing it onto the onto the canvas. Blocks of color.